Now to more breaking news from overnight. Firefighters rush to battle flames in Parkland. And that's where we find NBC6 reporter Bobby Brooks working to get you the very latest information from there. Hey, Bobby, what can you tell us? Good morning, Pam. I just spoke with firefighters. They tell me that five adults live in the home that was burned. None of them were hurt, but a firefighter has suffered a minor injury, is expected to be okay while battling this blaze. Now, I want to pan the camera over somebody's fence. We're in somebody's backyard. Uh, this is the best vantage point that we can give you right now. This is all the closure that we can get. Right now, what's happening is uh, you see that home. It's been completely burned to the ground. Firefighters just spraying some water on some hot spots to make sure these flames don't reignite. Now I'm told by the next door neighbors here that the yard we're in that this was a 3,000 square foot home. It has four bedrooms and in this video you can see uh, the massive flames shooting up from this house. Uh, firefighters they were here at the scene. They're telling me again five adults. Everyone is okay and the reason why this home though is destroyed is its location. Firefighters are telling us that the closest fire hydrant pretty far away from where we are and it took crews a while to get the adequate amount of water to this home to start battling these flames. Let's take a listen. The closest fire hydrant is almost 3,000 feet away, so our crews had to hand lay supply lines from that fire hydrant into the scene, obviously, which took some time due just to the general nature of the, the work required. Now, while you continue to watch these flames on your screen, I'm told the owners here that they have as many as eight dogs on their property, miniature horses on this property, and even a giant koi pond in the backyard. But I'm told by Fire and Rescue that luckily none of those animals were hurt. Now, back out live here, you can see uh, firefighters going through the backyard carrying more of those hoses to the locations of this home and this property. It is a very large property, a very uh, remote location, which is what made it so difficult for firefighters to be able to put this out. Now, I did just speak with some neighbors a few minutes ago who say that around 2 a.m., they heard a very loud explosion, and then after that, the whole place went up in flames. Now, you can be sure throughout the morning, we're going to be working to get as many new details on this story as we can, so be sure to follow along with us for now live in Parkland. Bobby Brooks, NBC6, South Florida. 